when we started step two, we started learning the basic quack. Step three, we learned the feed call. Now we're at step four where we're gonna learn the basic cluck. And these really are the three main uh, building blocks later as you start putting cadences together and realism together um, to use as you're calling ducks. So let's get the cluck. <clears throat> Same thing, hold the hand out here. You wanna feel that air coming from your throat hitting your hand. We're gonna use the word shook. We're gonna cut off the air with the back of our tongue on the roof of our mouth. Again, don't use the tip of your tongue at the back of your teeth because later when you try to increase speed or intensity, you're gonna get tongue tied. You gotta be able to feel that air. If you're not feeling the air when you're saying it, you're not getting enough air um, or you wouldn't be able to put enough air into the duck call. So just like the quack, just like the feed call, you've got to get the air presentation right correctly from your throat and you've got to put enough in there that you can feel it on your, uh, the back of your hand if you hold that hand up here. We've learned the quack, the feed call, learn this cluck and then in step five we'll learn how to kind of put more realistic sounds into um, cadences so that you'll be producing more realistic sounds of ducks.